Today in your art studio, we're going to practice our beginner sewing techniques. Everyone will make a small sample that is just for practice, where we will practice pinning the fabric together, threading the sewing needle, sewing a straight stitch, and tying some knots. Have fun! First, we'll go over the difference between pins and needles. Pins are for getting fabric to stay together until you're ready to sew it. Without pinning, the fabric will flop all over the place and be very frustrating. So a pin has a pin head, kind of like the head of a nail, on one side for grasping, and it's got a point on the other side to get through the fabric. And then a sewing needle has a hole on one side that's called the eye of the needle and that is for threading the needle. So you put your thread through the eye of the needle, which is trying to make it show up, but which is there. And then the other side has a point, which is sharp, for getting it through the fabric. always keep your needle safe. I'm not going to use this right away, so I wanna make sure that it is safely kept either in a pin cushion or you can put it through your fabric, which I'll show later. So first we wanna get two pieces of fabric that are small and scrappy. This is just to create a sample to show understanding. And practice makes perfect, or at least makes better, just like with everything else. Okay, so I lined up my two pieces of fabric so the edges are close. And then I'm going to pin them together. I get a couple of pins and you always want to pin about a half inch in from the edge because you will also sew a half inch in from the edge so that your thread doesn't come out if the edges unravel like that. So a half inch is about the thickness of your pinky. Pinning is where you push down through both the layers of fabric, and then you come back up. So I'm using the table underneath to slide along, and then I put my finger here to hold the fabric down, and I come back up, careful to miss my finger. I'm going to try to show that closer. Pinning is down through both layers of fabric, through both, and then back up. On the front, it looks like this. You see the head of the pin and the point. And on the back, it almost looks like a staple. This holds the fabric together until you are ready to sew. Please pin around your whole area. Okay, now that we are all pinned, it is time to learn how to thread a needle and tie a knot. When it's time to thread your needle, you wanna get a nice long piece of thread because you're going to fold it in half. So it will only be half as long as what you think it might be initially. So you want to stretch your arm way out so you have a nice long piece of thread. Cut it off, it's time to thread your needle. Now that I have my thread, I'm taking my sewing needle out of the pin cushion. Remember it's got the eye where you thread through. So what you do is take one end of your thread and if you hold it too far away from the end, it just flops all over the place and it's really challenging to thread it through the eye of the needle. So you want to hold it right toward the end so you have more control and very carefully thread it through the eye of the needle and be patient with yourself. This may take several tries. And once it's through, you're going to pull until the ends line up. Okay, 
So now my needle is threaded. It's long. And at the end, I have both pieces lined up. Now we need a knot here. Otherwise, when we are sewing, it's going to just come right through. So here's what I find to be the best way to tie a knot at the end of the thread. There are many ways to do this. Try this one first. You wanna line this up on your finger, pinch it there, and then you go around your finger and you're crossing over. You don't want this tail too long, otherwise the knot won't tie. So you're holding it like that, okay? Crossing it over, like making an X, going around your finger. And then you use your thumb to push it off, which ravels it all up, and you kind of hold on to it. And use your other fingers to pull that down. Okay, our next skill is a straight stitch. We will start at the corner. I have my pin box here. As I don't need the pins, I put them away. I don't need a pin in this first spot where I will start. I'll put that away. And remember, you wanna sew about the width of your pinky from the edge. You want a good half inch. So I'll start here. In the sewing stitch, you go down through both layers of fabric and then back up but you want your stitches to be small. Please notice that I've gone through both layers of fabric and I will do that several times. That's one stitch. You pull your needle through all the way to the knot. And the knot will keep it from pulling all the way through. Then you do your next stitch small stitches down through both and back up and that is how you create a straight stitch i'm going to stitch all the way down one side and then we'll learn another way to do it and make it a little bit quicker down the other side A lot of the time when kids get to a place to turn a corner, they will ask, how do I sew around a corner? Well, you just change direction. You were going this way and now you're going to go that way. As for a quicker way to sew a straight stitch, you can make more than one stitch at a time. So once you have practiced making your straight stitch, try doing a straight stitch with several stitches before you pull the thread through, like this. Down and up, down and back up, down and back up, and then you pull your thread through all of that at once. Try that a few times. When your thread starts running out, this is plenty of thread that I have here, but you wanna have thread at least the length of your fingers so that you have enough room to tie. So when you end up with your needle about that far from your last stitch, like the length of a finger, you want to stop and tie a finishing knot. You can always re-thread your needle and continue from there. So from here, I'm going to show a finishing knot a finishing knot is how we get what we have sewn together to stay where we put it and not unravel. So right where the last stitch comes out of the fabric, you want to use your needle to lift a couple of little threads of the fabric and going through and back up like you're doing a stitch, but you're going to pull that stitch and stop once you have a loop. Then to tie the knot, you want to come up from underneath that loop. 
coming through this way will tie a nice solid knot. I'm gonna pull it nice and tight. And I always do two knots just to make sure that it's extra sturdy and will not unravel. You can go through right in the same spot or right next to it as long as it's a tiny lift of a couple threads of the fabric. Pull until you have a loop. And then you're coming up from underneath the loop and pulling it tight. Very nice. Now you'll trim your thread. Trim it near the knot, but not at the knot. Having that little bit extra thread for a tail there will help ensure that nothing will unravel. And that is that. This is our sample. We have a straight stitch. We have a finishing knot. We have pinning, threading a needle, and our first sewing knot that we began with. If you have time or feel like you're not so confident, practice tying those knots. Tie your end knot again, do a couple of stitches, and then tie another finishing knot. That is the most important thing to practice because it's easiest to forget. Happy sewing!